Hi boys and girls. This video is on understanding profit. And this video in particular is gonna walk you through your practice today. I'm gonna do it with you today. So if you don't have your practice in front of you, go ahead and get it. And if you don't have access to a printer, you could just get a piece of paper. We're gonna kind of walk through together. So to understand profit, you have to take into account, you start with the income, the amount of money that you have made. Another word for your income is your revenue. Now, income is the amount of money that you make. Either you are selling lemonade, it's the money that you make. You might sell a table, you might sell bracelets. Something that you make, you get money from selling something. Now, to calculate profit, you have to subtract the amount of your expenses. Because to make lemonade, you have to buy supplies first and that money comes out of your pocket. So another word for expenses is your costs. Your costs cost you money. And that is the money for your supplies. Now, your profit is what is left. So it is the money that is left after taking out your cost, the amount of money you spent for your supplies. So to calculate profit, you have an income or a revenue, you earn money, you have to subtract out the cost of that money, the cost of your supplies, and what is left is your profit. So let's walk through this tour together. When you sell an item or items, your goal is to make a profit. When you sell something, that is called your income or revenue. To calculate profit, you subtract your cost or expenses from your income. The extra money left is your profit. So I'm gonna walk you through three scenarios where we're gonna look at our problem, we're gonna look at the parts, we're gonna figure out what our revenue is, what our cost is, and we're gonna calculate our profit. Now we're gonna to refer to this as we work out these problems. Your income minus your expenses equals your profit. So let's get started. So here's the story. It says Karen set up a lemonade stand. She bought, that tells me she's buying something. She bought lemons for $5, sugar for $3.50, and cups for $2.50. She sold 40 cups of lemonade and earned $20. What was her profit? So we're gonna start with the first part of our profit. Income and revenue, how much did she earn? Well, she earned $20. But she had some expenses she had to pay for first. She bought lemons for five, sugar for 350, and cups for 250. Now five, 350, and 250, those are her expenses. But let's figure out what the total expense was. I'm gonna come over here to the side, and I'm gonna add up her total expenses and see what the total amount is. So when I add that up, drop down that decimal, five, eight, nine, 10, 11. $11 is the amount she spent on her supplies. So to calculate her profit, I have to subtract those expenses. And what is left is her profit. So what is $20 minus $11? Nine dollars. 
So all the all together, her profit was nine dollars. Okay, let's look at our next one. Mrs. Baker sold a dozen cupcakes for $15. So she sold for 15. It cost, there's our word cost, her $7.25 to buy sugar, flour, and eggs. Hmm, those sound like supplies. Here's our question, what was her profit? So to calculate profit, we start with her income or her revenue. We are going to subtract her costs to buy her supplies, and what is left is her profit. Now I'm just gonna plug in my numbers. So she sold cupcakes for $15, that was her income. But she had to buy sugar, flour, and eggs, and that cost her $7.25. So when I subtract that from 15, what is left is our profit. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to calculate and subtract, and I can see I can't take five from zero, two from zero, I can't take seven from five. I'm gonna to have to regroup. So that gives me 15. Take one away, that's 14, that becomes 10. Take one away here, that becomes nine, and that becomes 10. Now I can subtract. 10 minus five is five, Nine minus two is seven. Drop down your decimal. 14 minus seven is seven, and of course, zero. So her profit is what is left over after subtracting the cost. So $7.75. So her profit for selling cupcakes she actually earned and made a profit of $7.75. If you want to check yourself, we can add our profit to our costs to check ourselves and make sure that we are correct. Let's see, 9, 10, 14, 15, drop down that decimal. So you can see I came up with my revenue, that's correct. So let's do the next one. Kelly made and sold bracelets for her friends. She bought beads for $4.50, wire for $2, and clasps for $3. She sold nine bracelets for $2 each. How much profit did she make? So to calculate this one, I'm gonna start with writing your formula, revenue, or your income minus your costs equals your profit. So let's figure out what our numbers are. Our revenue is how much money she made. Now I'm looking here and I don't see an exact amount, but I do have some clues. It says she sold nine for $2 each. So I'm gonna have to do something here. Nine bracelets for $2 each tells me multiply what is nine times two. That is $18. So she earned $18 selling bracelets. But before she could make those bracelets, she had to spend some money. She bought beads for $4.50, wire for $2, and clasps for $3. So let's add those up and see what her total amount of her cost is. Looks like $9.50. So the cost to make the bracelets was $9.50. I have to subtract that out of my revenue to get my total profit. So I'm gonna come down here, do some math, See, zero minus zero is zero, but I cannot take five from zero. I can take it from eight, but I see eight is less than nine as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and come from here. That turns into 18, take one away, that turns into 17, and that becomes 10. 
10 minus 5 is 5. Drop down your decimal. 17 minus 9 is 8. 850 is what is remaining. So she made a profit of $8.50 selling bracelets. Alrighty, that was her profit. Alrighty, I hope this helped you as you take your quiz for your next step. It might be handy to have this in front of you. So again, let's kind of review. To calculate your profit, you take your revenue, which is also called your income. You take the whole amount of money that you make. You subtract out the money for your supplies, which is called your expenses or your cost. Just remember, supplies cost money. And then what is remaining is your profit. Hey, I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching.